Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be explaining how to trace the drafted torso block. Depending on how often you use your blocks, you can either keep them on the paper and trace from here or decide to transfer it onto a cardboard and trace from there. Whichever you decide, the most important thing is that you have a foundation block that you can always refer to. If you decide to cut on this without tracing out, then that will mean that each time you want to use the block, you have to draft from scratch all over again so the first thing to do is to get another paper that is of the same length with the torso block you want to trace place it under and then secure it to your work table with uh, either tape or push pins whatever method suits your work table once you're done securing i'll just go ahead and mark the lines that are to be traced. So I'll be tracing the center back line, the slanted center back line, the neck line, the shoulder line, the ammo, the back line, the boss line, the waistline and the lower waistline, the hip line, the side seam, the shoulder dart, and the waist dart. You can trace in whatever manner you find convenient for you. For beginners, you can decide vertical lines first, then the horizontal lines or going clockwise or anti-clockwise. Also, the kind of work surface you are using might determine the amount of pressure you have to put on the tracing wheel for it to give you a good trace. And tracing the bo uh, bodies for the first time is easier because you can always spot whatever line you've omitted. Here, I'm just pulling the paper back carefully so I still have enough space to trace the front piece. And I'll go ahead to mark the lines to be traced just the same way we did with the back. I'm marking the side seam, the waistline, and the lower waistline, the hip line, the true bust line, the bust line, the chest line. The ammo, the shoulder dart, the center front line, the neckline, the shoulder seam, and the waist dart. You can go ahead and trace. The design you have in mind is a basic factor in deciding what and what to trace and what and what not to trace. I'm done tracing and I'll just highlight the tracings with markers so that it will be visible.
once you are done tracing you can decide to extend the lines to the end of the paper that depends on what design you are going for i will explain more about this in subsequent videos about dress box go ahead to label the pattern labeling a pattern is important so you don't get it mixed up so you label the center back the side back side front center front And if you wish to trace a body's block from shoulder to waist, it's just the same process. Just get a paper with the length going beyond the waist a little and then you can just repeat the steps.
and that's all for this video thanks so much for watching